Hey, what's going on everyone? Nando Siriani here and I want to welcome you all back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, we're going to be covering actually what defines the perfect outfit. Now, there are some different categories that I think personally that really define the perfect outfit and we're going to be going over those in this video, so stay tuned. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Nando Siriani and on this channel, I talk about fitness, men's fashion and lifestyle. So if any of those topics seem appealing to you, please hit that subscribe button because I would love for you guys to be a part of my community. First things first, let's talk about fit. The fit of your outfit. Now we're gonna be talking from a perspective of slim fit, more skinnier fit, relaxed fit and oversized fit. So let me break it down for you and give you guys an example of what I'm talking about. Now let's say you're wearing a Yeezy. We all know the Yeezy is a very chunky sneaker. So you're not gonna wanna wear that chunky sneaker with such a slim or tighter jeans, tighter pant. You're gonna wanna pair that with an oversized look, an oversized short, an oversized pant, an oversized jogger, oversized jeans. You get what I'm saying? So you wanna make sure that the outfit flows right from the top to the bottom or the bottom up, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna give you an example of an outfit. So you got your Yeezy on, you got your chunkier pant on, and then you know you're not gonna slap on a you know tighter t-shirt. It's gonna look very weird if you're wearing this slim tight fitting shirt with your baggy pants and your big sneaker. The entire outfit has to be complemented from the top all the way down to the bottom. So you're gonna wanna pair that with an oversized t-shirt, oversized long sleeve, sweater, jacket, etc. So having said that, fit is king. In the fashion world, the metaphor is fit is king. So type that in your phones to remember that one. So that's exactly how I put outfits together for myself. So usually if I'm trying to put an outfit together, um, I usually start with the shoe. Let's say I have a you know tighter shoe. I know that I got to wear a tighter jean or a tighter pant. And then, and then I go to my slim t-shirts, my slimmer jacket. So that's the way I kind of coordinate my outfits together, which really helps me before I go out. So think about that the next time you're going out, what kind of look you have in mind? Right? So kind of just start maybe with one piece of clothing in your closet and just go from there, right? And just build up that outfit from that one piece. If you know, for example, that day you want to wear a tighter fitting shirt, you know, you have to look for a tighter slimming jean or tighter slimming pant so that it does complement and the whole outfit flows from the top all the way down to the bottom of the outfit. So now that we know fit is very important and knowing exactly what's going on in your body, Let's move on. Second up on the list, we're going to be talking about color. And yes, color is very important when you are styling an outfit together. So let me break this down for you, right? So you're not gonna be putting on a red t-shirt with your you know, green jeans. You know, you're gonna look like Christmas. You're gonna look like Christmas time. So no, we're not gonna be pairing red uh, t-shirts with your green jeans, right? So knowing exactly what colors actually go together. You know, if you wanna go for more of the earth colors, you know, all of the earth colors and neutral colors will go together. You know, your beiges, your greens, your browns, um, your tans, those all really go together and all really complement each other. So if you were going to put an outfit together, let's say you're wearing a olive green sweater, then you have a beige pair, pair of pants, and then you have your uh, kind of like tan lighter white sneaker. That whole outfit right there really complements each other because all of those colors really go together, right? And if you are, if you want to be more monochromatic, meaning you know you want to just wear an all black outfit, all navy outfit, all gray outfit, those are great options too. Let's say you say, you know what, Nando, I don't want to wear a lot of colors. It's not part of my personality. You know, I don't want to stand out too much. Well, that's where you can use the monochromatic kind of technique, where you just use. The same color groups, right? But different shades of those colors. So meaning, you know, let's say right now I have my gray jean on, right? And I have my darker gray t-shirt and then my really dark gray jacket with like my lighter gray sneaker. I'm just giving you guys an example of a monochromatic look, which would look really nice and really sleek, right? Because that outfit is very, is very easy to look at. We can say that, right? You don't want such a loud outfit. You don't want something that's very hard to look at. Like, oh my gosh, look at this guy has all these colors on this outfit. It's like too much, right? So that's where you want to know exactly what kind of colors actually work and you know, what colors go together. So putting those colors is, you know, together is very difficult at times. So that's why we can always just go on Pinterest and look up ideas for, you know, a red outfit with uh, blue or red or whatever your outfit you want to go for. Let's say you have a t-shirt that you really love and it's uh, bright orange, right? You can always just go on Pinterest and type in like, you know, outfits for men that, you know, go with bright orange t-shirts. And I guarantee you 
sometimes, most of the time, Pinterest has an amazing ideas for you. For even myself, when I'm looking for different inspo, uh, fashion looks, fashion outfits, I always go to Pinterest. Pinterest, it is such a good tool to use. So very important that we know color and what colors to actually use properly, right? So when you do see a guy that, you know, has that, wow, why does that outfit look so good? It, sometimes it's not even, you know, the outfit looks good. It's just, he just coordinated the colors perfectly, right? So that's all it is sometimes is just, how somebody puts colors together and you know i'm still learning that every single day as i'm kind of just growing in this uh fashion world is you know using certain colors and you know combining them together with different looks and different outfits is very very crucial um when you are trying to you know put outfits together so very important is color all right so let's move on to the next strategy next up let's talk about detail so for example i've done this myself in the past before um, I've actually seen an outfit on somebody else I saw on Instagram and I'm like, wow, I really like that outfit. So I literally went out to the store, bought that exact color t-shirt, the exact color jeans, same jacket, same shoes. I go home, put the outfit on and I'm like, wow, like, why doesn't this look the way they looked on that guy? And it's, and it's because of the details that they were using in the outfit. Now by details, I mean things like sunglasses, headwear, jewelry, scarves, belts, watches, things like that, that really make an outfit stand out. For example, if you're going to wear a white t-shirt, you know, it's pretty, you know, pretty simple white t-shirt, you know, you wear with blue jeans, but let's say you want to spice it up a little bit, make your outfit pop a little bit more, add in something like a necklace on top of the white t-shirt to make it stand out a bit more. It almost looks like it's a new t-shirt because you added some sort of accessory to the outfit. Now, jewelry is very important, uh, something that I could probably dive into a little bit more in another video. So comment down below if you wanna see a separate thing on jewelry and how to kind of pick jewelry, wear jewelry, things like that. But accessories and details of an outfit is so important. Putting on a pair of sunglasses, getting a backpack, getting a duffel bag, getting a side bag, things like that, that really put an outfit and elevate an outfit to another level is just adding those little details, right? So adding in a watch, adding in a belt to really separate an outfit, separating the colors in an outfit is very, very important, right? So if you are somebody that doesn't really have a lot of those little accessories, I suggest just looking in and starting with like a bracelet or starting with a necklace, starting with some sort of brown or black belt to kind of change up your look a little bit, right? So very important to get details, you know? Get yourself a pair of nice sunglasses that you can kind of wear with everything so that you can get a pair of sunglasses that are versatile enough to wear with each outfit. So literally just start with maybe a black aviator sunglass just so that you kind of have something to wear on top of all of your outfits. So that's a great place to start, right? So very important, something that I also need to work on is details in an outfit. It could either, it could really elevate that outfit to another level if you just, you know, put a little bit of details into that look that you're going for. Very important this spring, so get yourself some sort of accessories for your outfits. Next up on my list, we're gonna be talking about appropriateness. So what outfit is appropriate for weather, location, and occasion? Now, so if you're wearing outside and it's cold outside and you're wearing a light bomber jacket with jeans, you're gonna look ridiculous. So know where you're wearing these outfits. You know that it's kind of cold outside, you're wearing your long parker jacket. That's when you're gonna to wanna to throw on your beanie hat to complement the outfit so that you go with accordingly to what the weather is. You're wearing your army boots. You're not wearing your light, low top white sneaker with your you know cargo pants in the winter time. You're just gonna look silly. So you gotta kind of know exactly when to wear these outfits. Now, for example, occasion. You know, you're going to a formal event. You're not gonna be wearing ripped jeans to your formal event with your baggy t-shirt, right? That's where you're gonna wear your upscale outfit with your black dress pants, gray dress pants, your, your dress shoes, your blazer, right? So that's where you have to know where you're going with these outfits, right? So if you're just going to the mall, you're not gonna go in a tuxedo because you're gonna look silly in the mall with a tuxedo on your, unless you know, you're at work and that's what you do. You need to walk around the mall with a tuxedo, but you get the point, right? So Another thing is location, right? So let's say you're going to some sort of sporting event. You're going to watch, for example, a Leaf game. Yes, I'm a Leaf fan, so you guys can leave the comments down below if you guys aren't Leaf fans. But let's say you're going to a Leaf game. That's where you can wear more your casual look. Like, you know, you got your, your Maple Leafs jersey on with your jeans, your boots, right? So things like that, you gotta know location of where you're wearing these outfits, you know, wear, wear them 
to the accordingly to where you're going right so very very important now this all ties in exactly with my last point which is your style everybody has their own style so for example what may look good on me may not look good on somebody else what may look good on somebody else actually may not look good on me for example so it's all about knowing what kind of style actually suits your body type your personality right so things like that are so important to just pinpoint out and actually know that hey you know what those baggy jeans are not for me but like i have tons of people that you know message me on instagram and tiktok and stuff saying you know what Nando, i really love this outfit but i just don't know if it would look good on me and i actually say that too to some guys i'm like how does that guy pull off that hoodie or those shoes like i just can't see myself wearing that so that's very important. You don't want to wear something that you don't feel comfortable in. Style and fashion, it's all about comfort and being comfortable in your own skin and exactly, you know, what outfit suits you, what outfit makes you feel good. So that's really important too. Um, you know, and that's going to conclude this video with, you know, style. What is your style? And you will figure that out as you kind of grow up and as you get older too. Is like, you know, you're going to go through different phases of, you know, I like baggy t-shirts, I like slim t-shirts and that's totally fine, right? So. I've, you know, my closet's been very different lately with different kind of things. And I look at some of my stuff that I bought two years ago. I'm like, how did I buy that shirt two years ago? And I'm like, how did I do that? Why did I buy that t-shirt two years ago? So your style is constantly changing, you know, style constantly changes with trends, right? So knowing exactly what trends actually suit you and what trends don't. So very important to kind of be able to see that on yourself and look at yourself in the mirror and say, okay, these baggy jeans definitely look good, right? So, you know, and if you ever need uh, help or anything, guys, you guys can always send me a message on Instagram and just like, you know, send me an outfit. Hey, Nando, you think this looks good? I'd be more than happy to, you know, help all of you out with uh, picking an outfit and stuff. Uh, as I always try to answer so many of the DMs because you all are so nice and, you know, you guys give me such good compliments and you guys really motivate me every single day. But if there are any other things that you guys may want me to address in another video that I talked about in this video, just to get more into detail about, please comment below what you want to see next on my channel and I'll do my best to cover it. But guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button for me as it does really help out my channel grow and subscribe if you haven't already because I'm posting new content like this every single week and I want you guys to be a part of this community. But hey, until then, I'll see you all next time.